I guess the most distinct press we got was the cover of I Magazine, mm -hmm. oh, which doesn't exist anymore. And it says, don't talk, paint, which is not exactly maybe what we wanted <laughs> to say. Uh, but it was, and, as, and it says three new shows, put the art object first again. I had just finished grad school. My uh, MFA thesis was about the revival of painting. I sort of took on Victor Bergen when he had stated that painting was the anachronistic daubing of woven fabrics with colored mud. As a young artist coming to Toronto, I studied at University of Guelph and came here and didn't know a lot of people. And going to galleries would see lots of really interesting photo-based work with text, sculpture installation, video work. But yeah, there was a, a distinct absence of painting. As young painters, we often felt excluded from the Toronto art scene. And so, you know, we started a conversation. We barely knew each other before Mud came together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put together a show. One person met another person, met another person, and eventually four people turned into seven, turned into 20. My favorite mud story is that the reason we stopped at 20 was because 20 slides fit in a slide sheet. And we knew we were going to apply for grants. Right. Yeah. And it was like, if we have two slide sheets, you know, the person, whoever gets tucked under that second one might not get seen. So, you know, okay, there, that's good enough reason to stop. There was a good recession going on in Toronto, and there was a lot of office space. And we ended up with three floors on the east side of Young Street on Adelaide. Huge, massive space. How we paid for the space was that each person contributed a work and the landlord accepted a, a basically an awesome little collection of 20 pieces mm -hmm. in lieu of I think really? I can't remember that I like mm -hmm. that <laughs> let's rewrite history and say yes. that's what happened what was different about mud as an exhibition in terms of the artists that were represented was the plurality very wide range of approaches to painting We had 20 people in the show, and so we knew that there would, would be a lot of people at the show. It was packed. It was as though we needed to hire bouncers and police for the event. And I remember that we sold an insane amount of beer. It was just uh, the eve of one of the municipal elections. Barbara Hall, who actually won, decided to do a photo opportunity at our event. In the middle of all those people, we've got Barbara Hall walking around enjoying the visual art and showing her, you know, love for the artists. Just this energy entered into the community that said, you can do anything.
know what was great about mud was that ramshackle crazy kind of way it came together and, and it was very intuitive, accumulative, uh, you know, like uh, organic, uh, undep undependable in certain ways. Well, that's part of the magic too, right? always have this ground, grassroots activity that rises up out of either frustration, defiance, whatever that is. Joy. And joy. <laughs> um, and usually recessionary times. Yes. And then re reshuffles the whole community. That's what really makes Toronto a very exciting place. Mm -hmm.